Hedy Lamarr was born Hedwig Eva Maria Keisler on November 9, 1914, in Vienna, Austria. Discovered by an Austrian film director as a teenager, she gained international notice in 1933 with her role in the sexually charged Czech film Ecstasy. After her unhappy marriage ended with Fritz Mandel, a wealthy Austrian munitions manufacturer who sold arms to the Nazis, she fled to the United States and signed a contract with the Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer studio in Hollywood under the name Hedy Lamarr. Upon the release of her first American film, Algiers, co-starring Charles Boyer, Lamar became an immediate box office sensation. Often referred to as one of the most gorgeous and exotic of Hollywood's leading ladies, Lamar made a number of well-received films during the 1930s and 40s. Notably among them were Lady of the Tropics (1939), co-starring Robert Taylor; Boomtown (1940) with Clark Gable and Spencer Tracy; Tortilla Flat (1942), co-starring Tracy; and Samson and Delilah (1949), opposite Victor Mature. She was reportedly producer Hal Wallace's first choice for the heroine in his classic 1943 film, Casablanca, a part that eventually went to Ingrid Bergman. In 1942, during the heyday of her career, Lamar earned recognition in a field quite different from entertainment. She and her friend, the composer George Antiel, received a patent for an idea of a radio signaling device, or secret communication system which was a means of changing radio frequencies to keep enemies from decoding messages. Originally designed to defeat the German Nazis, the system became an important step in the development of technology to maintain the security of both military communications and cellular phones. Lamar wasn't instantly recognized for her communications invention since its wide-ranging impact wasn't understood until decades later. However, in 1997, Lamar and Antio were honored with the Electronic Frontier Foundation EFF, Pioneer Award, and that same year, Lamar became the first female to receive the Spirit of Achievement Award, considered the Oscars of inventing.
Lamar's film career began to decline in the 1950s. Her last film was 1958's The Female Animal with Jane Powell. In 1966, she published a steamy, best-selling autobiography, Ecstasy and Me, but later sued the publisher for what she saw as errors and distortions perpetuated by the book's ghostwriter. She was arrested twice for shoplifting, once in 1966 and once in 1991, but neither arrest resulted in a conviction. Lamar was married six times. She adopted a son, James, in 1939, during her second marriage to Jane Markey. She went on to have two biological children, Denise and Anthony, with her third husband, actor John Loder, who also adopted James. In 1953, Lamar completed the naturalization process and became a U.S. citizen. In her later years, Lamar lived a reclusive life in Castleberry, a community just north of Orlando, Florida, where she died on January 19, 2000, at the age of 85. 